Today it's time to go back to Norway. I was there, it's a beautiful country, but this team right here is the poorest team from Scandinavia in FIFA 23. So that means we will take it on and turn it into an incredible club filled with Scandinavian talents mostly. This should be a ton of fun. We haven't played in the Norwegian league in such a long time. And you guys, I know for a fact, I have tons of viewers from Scandinavia. Shout out to you guys. The countries are absolutely beautiful. And I cannot wait to take this on. A team that was established in 1921. And it seems like they have never won anything. Let's change that. I've also just found out that statistically speaking, this is the worst team in Scandinavia as well that you can find on FIFA 23. They suck. And lads, there's one man that we're going to possibly focus on and possibly take through this entire thing if it all goes well. It's Colt Skogen. He is the one, the highest potential player in this team. Apart from him, trust me, don't get attached to anyone else. I'd be surprised if anyone else right here would turn into an incredible player. But having said that though, it's obviously all about age. Whoever is young could possibly become a huge one for us. Paul Skogan again, 63 rated, 20 years old. Sandberg looks quite all right, right next to him. And then Ugland in the cam position. And apart from that, Klinchy, or what is it? Tintje? Is that how you say it? Oh, he's from Netherlands Antilles. So I'm assuming you have to pronounce it as if it was Dutch. Is that Tintje? Please stop. You know what? I have no idea. Tintje. I don't, you know what? Forget about it. So for the first order of transfers, it's time to bring in a young goalkeeper. It is a Swedish lad. What the hell is even that? Dovin, he comes in with a good rating. I believe he will be perfect for this squad. He comes in from Hammarby EF. So, Jerv or Jerv, Shut up. whatever you want to call it, lads, are bringing in a new goalkeeper that will hopefully help us out big time. He comes in with a 64 rating. This kid is only 19. He's six foot two. Yeah, he's not the tallest, but I do believe that we can turn him into a big one. Goalkeeper position is one of the most important ones when playing FIFA in terms of rebuild. So I had to go for it straight away. Now I do believe that the rest of the team, technically speaking, isn't as bad as we're looking at it right now. Unless I can sell some players, which it doesn't look like I'll be able to. I need to fix up the defense. And I've just seen a Fernandez right here. He's not necessarily a left back. He's a center mid and he's 22. I've been trying to sell this man who's 30. Then I could put Fernandez in there, to be honest with you. And oh, this man. He can. Wait, what? He can also play left back. I guess I wouldn't mind. But having said that, I probably will spend some money still on that defense. Lads, I couldn't make any deals happen because this season actually begins in the January transfer window. If you guys don't know, the Norwegian league goes like different to the regular leagues because obviously, you know, they play into the summer. That's how things go. And they try to keep it in somewhat normal human being weather, I believe. <laughs> and I believe in the winter months. Specifically, it is very dark throughout certain places in Norway. So, yeah, that's another thing to keep in mind. But Valdemar Lund is coming into the team from FC Copenhagen. 670k on this youngster to take over the position from Bedeli. And he comes in with a 62 rating left footed. And I will actually keep the original formation of this team. So, hopefully, it will do bits. And I will be checking if one of these players that we have can be turned into a left back. If so, or actually a left wing back, I will go for it. So just like a true great manager, I have not looked into the youth academy and I didn't know that we had a Felix Pinto in there who actually looks amazing. This guy is 61 rated. He could be a huge one for us. Obviously, his potential isn't that high, but no one's potential in this team is high. And as I am going in here, let me know who you think is going to win the Champions League this season because PSG are... Struggling right now against Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich looking stronger and stronger as things go. Other teams are going to be stepping up. Liverpool against Real Madrid happening very soon. And Liverpool have maybe turned the tide on their form. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below who you think is going to get it done. And give me a reasoning because I want to see these comments and see what you guys think. So here we are at the end of season one. We are 13th. Am I surprised? No. Am I actually surprised in terms of that 
we are not the last place team. Yes, because I only made two signings, really. I'm very happy with the fact that we got 32 points. Tromso is the team with 17 at the bottom. And at the top, we have Molder. Surprise, surprise. That isn't anything new to me. There are some big teams that we will have to fight against, obviously. Establishing ourselves in this division will be so important for the growth of the team. Initially, it will be hard. But once we get to the top, we'll stick to it, in my opinion. But having said all that, let's see the team right now. So... Wilson, 67 rated. The guy whose name I can't pronounce, up to a 66. Fortado was on the bench initially, brought him into the team, 66. Fernandez, 65. Brendan, 64. Vishman turned into a left wing back on the 64 rating. Lund, up to a 66. Sandberg and Kolskogen, El Capitan, are looking good there. And Vishne, up to a 66. While our goalkeeper has gotten some good growth as well. I initially only had like 2 million to spend, which obviously is not enough money but we will have to try harder next season to get an even better budget but if we keep getting two million i might be able to make one signing a season portado from cap verde a top performer this season that is incredible and then this kid akans from finland up to a 66 that means this guy whose name i can't pronounce probably didn't play as much i'm not against it this guy's 24 this guy is 22. So let's make some money off this guy. First season done. This transfer I'm really excited about. It is a player that was at Bayer Leverkusen. Actually has a real face. It is Zidane Sertemir. Now, obviously has some Turkish in him. Otherwise, Sertemir makes no sense. That has to have Turkish origins. Having said that, though, his first name right there, Zidane, is just amazing. I love it. He is from Denmark, though, so that is quite interesting. He was at Leverkusen and now just recently has been let go to return to the homeland. So congratulations to him for making that move. But now he belongs to us. Brendan plus one million. I only have a budget of three million going into the season. And he takes over as a 65 rated centimeter left footed 70 pace 72 dribbling 66 passing on this young man he's only 17 at this stage and he is from denmark as we can see so i don't have much movement with the players that i have i'm trying to sell a couple possibly have a decent budget but i do believe i can make at least one more good transfer and ideally i want it to be the left wing back position because it is a 31 year old holding that position down at the moment how about a cheeky left back yes the deal is done and this man could be the one to take us forward i'm very excited to bring in this one oliver sandin from sweden currently plays at toulouse in the French land. And uh, now he is going to be a part of our team. Pinto, I'm sorry, pal. This is not your place to be. And also, Hakans is going to play. Kinchia is, or whatever this guy's name is. Jeremy is going to be sold. And Zandin comes in with a 67 and potentially is higher rated at left wing back. It couldn't have been better. And with that, the signings for this season are done. Unless I can somehow sell on this lad right here. I've been trying. But it hasn't been working out. Season two has come to an end. And now we're looking at a team that is winning games. Not too bad, but also losing. By the way, don't look at my manager. He's, I don't know. He's going through a midlife crisis. Anyways, we have our team ready to be looked at. And also the fourth position. FK Yerv or Jerv, whatever. I probably should look it up at this point. We have 46 points, lads. 54 on Molde as we speak. That is not a huge point total. We are very close to it. And that's a good, good sign. A very good sign, actually. And now in the league, uh, the, the team, I should say. Hakan's up to a 70. Uh, we have Wilson up to a 70 as well. Probably we'll sell him on. He's 27. We probably need to bring in someone young into that position soon. Furtado up to a 68. Uh, Fernando 68. Sertimir plus 3. Zandin up to a 69. 70 rated Lund and the captain has gone up to a 70 and the goalkeeper has gone to a 72. So overall, very satisfied with the growth in the team. Still wasn't able to sell on a couple of players. I'll be working on that for sure. And then also in the squad hub, this is how things are. Fortado got the most goals and then Sertemir got the most goal contributions, which is great to see. But as I am recording this, like literally right now, Apparently, there was just another earthquake in Turkey, man. It is just... I, I don't even know what to say. I'm just praying that the pain ends. I'm praying that it stops. People are scared. It just... 
yeah, my prayers go out there. If you guys have any funds to go ahead and uh, donate, please do so. Uh, it is not looking good right now. Uh, millions of people are displaced. They're out of their homes and thousands have sadly passed away. So if you guys can, please do so. I'll do my part as well. The green bearded man is welcoming a new striker into the team. I need a Norwegian to lead the line. It is going to be my own Haaland project. It is a striker named Eric Bottheim. He plays at Salernitana in Italy. And now he plays for us. An exciting player to bring in. 73 rated, 76 pace, 72 shooting, 76 physicality. And of course, he's a giant. Six foot two tall. I told you, I'm building my own Haaland. By the end of this season, we are looking at a team that clearly is or should be one of the best teams in the league already. Hakan's up to a 74. Botheim, the new Haaland, up to a 78. Portado, 73 rated. Fernandez is... Trying to catch up to the rest of the team along with Sandberg. Those are probably the next two that I need to replace. Set them it up to a 73, which is good to see. And defensively, we are looking much better with our captain now on a 74. And our goalkeeper on a 76, which is huge. So I'm very, very happy with all that. I was able to go through this season with no issues. And looking at this, I'm disappointed. Sixth. I don't know how I feel about that. I gotta be real. I don't know if that is something I expected. I thought we'd be higher up the league table. I'm surprised we haven't done as well. Defensively, it seems like we have done well, but offensively, we have been lackluster. So that's something I need to possibly focus on. Maybe get rid of Furtado, bring in a new right winger. That depends on who has done best. It has been bot, bot time. Okay, there we go. Akans and Furtado actually did well. So maybe there isn't enough support through the midfield. Maybe I need to change the formation and move away from the five at the back, which possibly helps us take Sandberg at the team and add another offensive player into this team. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I am going with a 4-2-4 formation from this point on, going extremely offensive. I want to shake up the league and score a lot of goals, so I needed a new strike, and I've done so. He is Swedish. He is going to be the next Zlatan, I'm telling you right now. Oscar Wilhelmsson. This guy is going to be part of our team, and I can't wait to see what he does for us. Portado obviously plays on a right wing. Sertimir plays there. Sander, I don't know why you're in this position. And Sandberg was supposed to be up there. And now Sandberg will be replaced by Wilhelmsson coming in with a 72, 81 pace, 71 shooting. He's left footed. And that, my friends, is my new formation going into the year. And I've only been given 4 million euros. I mean, honestly, this team just, just not getting out of the situation of being poor yet. And now the question is, how has the team done at the end of this season? This is now 2025 and I want to see the Scandinavian beasts keep going up in their stats. We are seeing Hakan's up to a 78. A player that I never expected to use came out of nowhere and now is a part of this team. Wilhelmsson plus four. Bottheim 81. Furtado 76. Wasn't there like a singer whose name was like Nelly Furtado? I think there was one. Cheers, Jeff. Anyways, let's move on. We have Wishney up to a 75 at this point. Fernandez needs to go for sure. He's the next one I need to replace. Sanden up to a 78. Cole Skogen, El Capitan looking good. And the right back needs to be replaced as well. So a couple of things that we definitely need to achieve. And possibly I need to be starting to look into free agency because our players or the budget that we have actually is not that good. So having said all that, this season, show me something better. Yes, that is going to change things. 60 points, only five of Molde. I don't know what the second and third position gets in terms of European football. I am assuming it is Conference League. No matter what it is, I'm extremely excited that we get to take part in it. And this team has done it. Specifically, the goals of Botheim have done it. The 4-2-4 formation, the attacking one, has seemed to work out. And we'll just keep it up next season keep adding to it a new right back had to be brought in because i found the perfect option for this team it is oliver vilatsin for a lot of money basically my entire budget has been spent on this transfer but it's an important one it's a right back that looks very good 85 pace as the, the dribbling the defending he has it all he's 24 years old five foot eight such a great signing for this club 
get in Vilatsen and take us to the next level. Season in 2026 is finished. And yes, we did play in the Conference League. The question is, how well did we play in there? I'm seeing wins, I'm seeing losses, but it seems like we are through into the next round. And since we are at the end of December, when we are at the end of our regular season, this will kind of carry on into the next year, I assume. So that's going to be quite interesting. That's very interesting. Having said all that, let's see our league standing. Are we a team that is able to compete for the top spot in the league finally? Yes, we are. All right. The domination of Norwegian football has begun now in 2026. First position that will qualify us for Europa League, I believe. So I'm excited about that. Or is that actually Champions League? I do wonder how the system actually works. We'll see all of that later on. But yeah, at some point, we need to get into the Champions League, obviously. And if the only way to get in there is to win the Europa League to get in there, that would be a madness. But this is how the team is looking. Ratings-wise, I'm pretty happy with the lads. The lowest rated player in the team is still Fernandes. So he definitely needs to be someone that we get rid of as soon as possible. And then goals-wise, it's Sertimir from center midfield, 19 and 10. By the way, he has potential to be special now, which is incredible to see. But yeah, man, that is impressive. And Furtado, 29 years old. Some of these players will have to be moved on. And I will do my best right here. But yeah, the budget is not that large. I am very happy with the fact that we have gotten our first league title going to keep on working on it finally sorting out the center midfield position we are bringing in a swedish lad named larsson we all know larsson's from sweden can be good football players so we are doing exactly that hugo larsson is his name in fact and he comes in for 10 million plus five for uh the uh, the fernandez in the deal so that is perfect and he is going to be a big one. 78 rated right now and incredibly well balanced, which I love to see. 22 years old, 6 foot 2. Oh yes, he is going to be physical. I like that a lot. So things are looking very good right now for the team that's competing in Europe. I can't believe we're doing it, but we are doing it. Just a little heads up on things as we go through the new season. We got beaten by AS Monaco in the quarterfinals of the Conference League. We're not there yet. We might be out of the Conference League, but we did qualify for Champions League football. So if you get first place, you have to go through two rounds of Champions League football qualification. We got through both of them and we managed to get into a group with Manchester City, Sevilla and Galatasaray, which obviously did hurt us big time. I don't think we're going through to the next round. It's a shame, but it shows that it is possible. And I like seeing that. So having seen all of that, I need to see dominance in the league. And I want to see it now. Come on now. Give it to me. Elite Syrian. Here it is. First place, 78 points, 20 points difference. And the boys are looking like this. 85 bot time. Our Haaland next one is coming in with a nice rating. Wilhelmsson, the next uh, is Latan Ibrahimovic is looking good. The next Larsson is looking good. Fortado on an 80. Hakan's on an 82. Sertemir grew massively here. So overall, just really good stuff. Right back up to an 85. So guys, we are building a good team, but I feel like we're still two or three seasons away from achieving anything in Europe. But being able to qualify for Champions League over and over again, it's going to be very important for us. So let's keep this up, this pace. I like it. And hopefully we actually got third place in the group stages of Champions League football in order for us to go into Europa League. That's something I would like to see. So Champions League group stages. We are in the third position. Europa League. Here we come. It was time to bring in an Icelandic player into the team. I tried multiple times, but finally it worked out. Hakon Arnar Haraldsson is the one coming in for the 30-year-old Furtado. And this kid is 82 rated. Let's go. I need to turn him into a 5-star, five 5-star five player ASAP. But that is a massive signing. And that, my friends, is the only signing. Your boy ain't got no more cash. Season's over, and this is the team. Look at it. 85, 86, 88. Haraldsson on an 84. Larsson next to him on the 84. And Sertimir just keeps going. Kolskogen, the captain, 86 rated, 27 years old. 
And honestly, guys, this team can slowly compete for Champions League football. Now, this season, we're actually in the Europa League. Yes, we're going to be playing in there this season, hopefully getting something. But I do want to see this team go for the Champions League title soon enough. Of course, it's going to be important to us, but we need to see first. Wilhelmsson outdoing Botheim on the goals, but Botheim has more goal contributions. Good stuff. And then in the league table, where are we? We are in that lovely lovely first position and then the Europa League that is where we're playing right now we have gotten ourselves first in the group stages and we'll continue to play through it throughout the upcoming season and I do actually at this point expect us to win it yep I said it the team has won the Europa League insane against PSG in the final guys they have done it the season is only halfway through and I had to look through there because in the calendar after beating Eintracht Frankfurt, we have somehow lost the ability to see what the result would have been. So that's a really weird one. Gotta pay attention to that. It really worries me though. I really, really hope that when we get into the Champions League final, it actually lets me play it. But we're guaranteed qualification for the Champions League next season. As we go through it, Super Cup final, Champions League winner against Europa League winner, we have beaten Manchester City. Yeah, I'm telling you, this team is ready. Cup final against Rosenborg has been won, and in the Champions League group stages, we are already looking good. But this is the original finish of this season right now with our team. So let's take a look into it. Jerv or Jerv, whatever you want to call it. My name is Jerv. We are in the in the Champions League round of 16 against Manchester City, who we have just beaten. So possibly this season could be the one for us to get far. 72 points. That's good. We have won the league title again. And of course, that's performances real quick. 24 and 2, 17 and 0, 12 and 6, 10 and 13, 7 and 13. And then the team itself, here it is. That's a banging squad. I like it a lot. It's an amazing team. And I do honestly believe that this team could pull it off up until the point against Manchester City. We probably are ready to beat them. But then after that, going further, bench is horrific. It really, really is. I need to sort that out big time. And I will do so with a couple of free agents. But having said all that, let's get into the next season with Norway. But also the Champions League still have the chance of reaching the final this time around. So the missing pieces have been brought into the team right now and they are looking like this. Adam, 70 rated striker, was the best I could find. Lima, 82 rated left wing, should be amazing for us. Pinto is still here from the youth academy days. Lopez, 78 rated, Antvi, 71 and then Vergara for the left back position. Now, I honestly do believe if some of these players can grow just a little bit, maybe just one, one rating, two ratings, our team is possibly going to be up there to be able to win the Champions League or at least compete for it. Last time, as you guys know, I failed. Manchester City has been beat just like in the Super Cup and now Barcelona is the opponent. 1-1 in the first leg, 1-0 in the second. Please let me play the Champions League final. Don't just take it away and play it in the background without me seeing it. Atletico Madrid, I don't know what the result will be. Please tell me that we're beating them. Come on. Two Spanish teams beaten. And the final <sighs> just doesn't exist. Oh, it does. Oh, mate. I was so upset. I thought we had that thing again. I thought the glitch was coming in again. Yes. Yes, guys. We have turned the poorest team in Scandinavia into one that can win the Champions League. This was the ultimate goal for me. We have been dominating the league lately, and that is great. But the big goal was to bring in Jerv, Jerv, whatever it is, into the top of European football. And here it is. So far, 23 points in the league. But generally speaking, in the Champions League, we have done wonders. We have beaten Manchester City, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid to be able to play against Bayern Munich in the final. And this is how the team looks right now. The Finnish left wing, 88 rated. The Swedish striker, 90 rated. The Norwegian striker, 92 rated. The Icelandic uh, uh, right winger is 89 rated. So you can kind of tell that we have done our best in terms of bringing in Scandinavian players into this one. And I do know there will be people like, oh, 
this, these countries are only considered Scandinavian, blah, blah, blah. I Googled it, okay, just to make sure. <laughs> if you have a problem, tell it to Google. Anyways, Larsson with the 88, Sertimir 91, Zandin with the 89, Lund and Kolskogen, the captain up to a 90, Vilatsin on a 90 as well, and the goalkeeper remained on the 90 throughout the season, I believe. The bench looks better than before, and that might have played a big role in us moving into this position that we're in right now. Who has been the top scorer so far? This Wilhelmsson, 10 in 2, Haraldsson, 9 in 4, Bottheim, 9 in 2. I can't wait to use this team. This is going to be so much fun. Bayern Munich, are you ready? Are you prepared for us? Vahi up top, Musiala, Vieira, Molero, Kuipers, Lang. Wow. Okay, that's a very interesting lineup. Mendes, Araujo, Koch, Lewis, Amardashvili. That is a completely changed up Bayern Munich team. I can't wait to play it. And of course, we are not playing this on Legendary, lads. We're playing this on Ultimate Difficulty. Why does it keep changing? Stay the same way. There we go. Is my... Are my settings resetting or something? What the hell is going on? Fully prepared for this matchup. I am hoping to see my team do their best in the yellow and blue. Come on, Scandinavia for the win. Let's see what we can pull off right here. I can immediately tell I am not able to touch the ball. This is not a good start. It's 1-0 Bayern Munich. Their number nine gets the goal and jumps through the advertisement. Okay. Cool. So we are playing against superheroes. Ah, oh, it's too open. Way too open at the back again. I needed that. I need this ball back in my control. Incredible football. And it could have been easily 2-0. Our defense needs to step it up, man. This Bayern Munich team ain't no joke. Larson, good tackle. Somehow they still have control. Vilatsen picks it up. Haraldson now with the pace. This Icelandic beast can find the Norwegian beast. Come on, bot time. Smack it on the volley. It is great. It hits the post. The goalkeeper just about gets a touch on it. That is our first big chance. Oh, yes. No. <sighs> Mate, defending this opponent has been so hard. But playing through balls has never been better. Bot time. Up against two. Brings it back. Swedish striker hits the goal, but it is saved. Now, we do have a bunch of tall lads in the team. Larsson, if you can bring in a good cross, I can score. At least I felt like I could. Haraldsson. Sertemir goes for it. It's too easy. First half is finished. I am struggling. Oh, no. Oh, please. Yes, thank you. That's why you have a 90-rated goalkeeper in your goal to make those types of saves when it looks like it's definitely going in. That's a through ball. Come on, bot time. Lob the keeper. Why did I lob the keeper? Why? I thought he was going to come out. Big mistake. Yes, Larson. Well done. Hey, if you're giving me too much space, I'll take it. Yes. Haaland 2.0. Look at that strike, Eric Bottheim. He just shoves away the defender. The defender basically gives up, to be fair. It's Molero. He's not a defender. That is such a good strike. It stays low. It's powerful. It's 1-1. We are back. We're back, baby. Bring it back. Zidane is on the ball. Zidane somehow gets past people here. Zidane has the space, and he was about to score. It's very hard to catch up to Musiala. This is going to be very dangerous. Musiala inside the box. Oh, I'm so glad I could stop him there. The two strikers need to play with each other here. <laughs> yeah, boy. Down the right comes Haraldsson. Haraldsson has the pace. He's just sprinting away from defenders right now. He finds someone in the center. I see you making that run, whoever you are in the middle. Zidane, can you get that? Yes, he can. Inside. Oh, pen. Yes. Penalty 85th minute. They messed up, but trust me, the goalkeeper on this difficulty ruins me every time. Can I score this for the win? Robin Koch has messed up. Botheim already scored a goal. Let's give this to the Swedish striker this time. Come on. Come on, Wilhelmsson. Top left. Oh, yes. <laughs> Get in. It didn't go where I aimed. That's even better. They would have possibly saved it. Wilhelmsson. 
scores the goal to win the Champions League final. A Norwegian striker scores, a Swedish striker scores. What else do you want? Scandinavia on top. Jella, offside, surely, right? Oh, that's a good ball. Stop him. Stop him. Yes. Oh, that block was huge. That would have probably been 2-2. This defense has stepped up big time. Lovely. Great move. Oh, terrible pass. This should have been the end. I'm putting myself into a really, really bad spot here. And I will take that tackle. Kick the ball away. Give me that trophy. Jerv or Jerv. Whatever. We have won it. Here comes the original Kolskogin. Originally, he had 71 potential, I believe. And now he is here lifting the biggest trophy of them all. Guys, I am so happy with the fact that we have managed to pull this off. I really, really enjoyed this. And I hope you did too. If you did, make sure to hit that like. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Your boy wants to reach 500k. And follow me on Instagram. That would be very much appreciated. I am now officially working together with Bundesliga as well. So please go ahead and show some love on those posts. I appreciate you. Have a good day. Take care. And peace.